Oh, what's going on, Print Fam? It's your boy Cam. Welcome to the Print Life. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to load a t shirt quick, fast, and efficient. Coming up. I'm gonna preface this by saying that the process or the skill of loading a t-shirt is very nuanced uh, and it really is just a knack that you're gonna develop exclusively through practice. Uh, but I am gonna try to give you as many of the tips and tricks as that I personally can to help you move forward with it. The first thing that you do want to address is the orientation of your uh, garment cart in relation to the actual pallets because you want to do as little or you want to minimize the twisting as much as possible. So I have this thing pretty much 90 degrees or perpendicular to the pallets. So I'm just going to load it with the print side facing down. So the back of the shirts are facing up because we're printing on the front. When it comes to actually grabbing the t-shirt off of the thing, you're, this is the way that I go about doing it. Uh, you're going to use the first hand, pull up, and then with the second hand, you're loading it into the side seam over here. You're making a knife hand like a karate chop and you're pushing it into there. Now while this one is open, you're taking your next hand and knife handing it to the other side. So when I'm in there, I'll usually just cover my hands, right? So I leave the, uh, the actual pivot point of my hands out and I'm just covering my hands. And from there, I can pull. And one more time from another angle. So I'm using this hand or my right hand. This could be your left, depends on what side you work with. And with my karate chop, I'm karate chopping this side. Uh, you can cover or you can just leave, you know, just you're going in about as deep as your hand is with the knife edge. And then I'm using my next hand and I'm karate chopping to the other side. So now what I've essentially done is braced the t-shirt with my knife hand, just like this. From here is, is kind of two things are going on at once, but you're, you're pulling this away. And while you're pulling it away and orientating yourself to the thing, and now because I have my knife edge, I'm basically just grabbing from the inside, which makes this part, the top of the shirt, the print side shorter. And I have all of this extra fabric dangling, which basically just means it's dangling loose. And because the bottom of the shirt is dangling loose, as long as I ride my fingers close to the top of the pallet, all this extra loose fabric is dangling preventing it from hanging up on things like pallet arm clamps and all this kind of shit which just allows one nice smooth push and all that you have to focus on is keeping your fingers in line with the pallet and then letting it loose so because i have my knife edge here when i grab the top of the shirt i've got about 14 inches of fabric on the top which is just shorter than the uh than the width of my pallets. I'm riding my fingers on the edge of the pallet, uh, just like that. All the loose fabric is dangling so it's not catching up on the bottom of the pallet arms. I load it all the way down, dragging my fingers across the edge of the pallet lightly. You're pulling an upward angle just to make sure that the fabric's not touching the adhesive on the pallet, but you're literally just skimming by it. So I'm grabbing it in the middle, skimming it along and I'm going to drag it all the way until the top of the shoulders hit the top of the pallet. At the better you get at this, the quicker you're able to kind of find these two nubbins. Like this is the way that I do it and the better you get at it, the less you have to hunt for it. But if you're just starting out, you can quickly take your fingertips and feel for the two seams of the shirt. You know, you have an inch of the, of the tip of each finger so you can use your creases to make sure that you're more or less centered right here before you start pulling back. So got that adjustment. I'll make my, my first little adjustments. I'm feeling pretty good that it's even on both sides because I'm using my fingertips to gauge it. Now that I have it centered, it's still loose from the adhesive. Now I'm gonna grab my two corners. So I'm just basically feeling for the nub at the top of each of the shoulders here. And I pull back until the collar hem is just dangling over the top of the pallet. This is always our orientation here. And again, you'll find different settings for this. Some shops do it differently, but we like to move our pallets for distance and we always pull the collar to the edge of the pallet, just like this. Okay, and one more time, I am pulling. Knife, knife, snap if you want to. Pinch to the inside, 
short on the print side, a lot of dangling fabric on the bottom. I'm riding my fingers along the edge of the pallet all the way until the shoulders hit the corners. I do my check if I want to. As you get better at this, you don't have to do this as often. Making sure that I'm centered up where I want it. Grab the two nubs and pull back until the collar hem is hanging over the edge of the pallet. You'll see that I'm checking the size after the load because I'm a little bit out of practice with this as well. So I'm not checking it before, but I'm pulling it to the back and I'm just checking my distances here. And that one was a little funky. Again, man, the more practice you get at this, the more confident you get at your centering and all that kind of shit. So like, see that what happened because I was kind of half-assing and I didn't grab it correctly. Uh, when I went to throw the load, it wasn't centered. So I'm gonna do this again, knife and knife. Pull to the inside, drop it. It's all about if you can get that, if you can guide your fingers along the edge smoothly. And really your goal is to just try to keep that neck opening moving down the center as you load it so that you have less movement when you pull it back. See, and there you go. <laughs> you see what I did there? That's just old shitty habits. And a lot of the times it just comes to how you orientate your hands when you grab the t-shirt. If you're nicely centered and you load your fingers along it, it'll center the, the neck opening quite well. And there we go. And there you have it, print fam. Another quick tip from the print life and your boy Cam. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, keep your eye open for other quick tips coming up sometime soon. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.